hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's my canyon path and before i start with anything to do with this video i want to start by apologizing i have been away for over two weeks now i've not uploaded a video and i'm really really sorry because i know you guys are counting on me to be consistent i've just had filming and editing issues so i had to hold back on a couple of videos and now i'm really trying to catch up so i might upload many videos at a go when i get the opportunity i started off with the people video so what's supposed to follow is a cleansing video which i wanted to divide into two the first part of cleansing is now shampooing and other forms of cleaning your scalp and then the second part is co-washing which i still consider a form of cleansing that's why I thought cleansing would be into so for cleansing this video I'm going to try to be as brief as possible so basically when we talk about cleansing you're focusing on your scalp a scalp that has buildup that has dirt that has excessive oils and product will clog your hair pores so this can end up preventing hair growth your you need to have a clean scalp for your hair to grow it's among the many things that are really important so there's that end but at the same time you don't want to be scrubbing your scalp and cleansing it excessively to the point that you lose the nutrients the moisture the oils that are naturally produced by your hair so you're trying to create a balance between the two so if you have checked out my products video i link it down below you'll see i talked a little bit about shampooing and how sulfate free shampoos have been incorporated into the natural hair community to help create that balance of yes i want to clean my scalp but no i don't want to dry out my scalp at the same time so basically when you talk about shampooing i'd say if you can go for sulfate and paraben free shampoos especially if you shampoo your hair very often say once every week and then once a month you can really clarify your scalp now which is really to get that dirt out with a sulfate shampoo or one of the other things I'm about to mention so that's it if you're doing activities like sw uh, swimming and working out then you'd need to sh I feel like you need shampoo every week but really it's possible to shampoo once every two weeks or even once a month if you don't really get build up so fast so make sure you have two types of shampoos you have a moisturizing cleansing sort of shampoo which should be sulfate free I have shown you guys my fave, the cream of nature sulfate free shampoo and then a clarifying shampoo or product so this one can have sulfates because you really want to get rid of that build up completely alternatively you can use other items that are easily accessible in your house to do the clarifying on your scalp so first we have apple cider vinegar I talked about this in my protective style video I think I, it was a tutorial video I'll also link that down below so you can use apple cider vinegar on your scalp when you have braids in even like with crochet you just dab the apple cider with some cotton wool leave it on for 10 minutes then rinse it out with water but if you're washing your hair your natural relaxed whatever your open hair with apple cider vinegar it is recommended that you dilute it with water apple cider vinegar is really great for your scalp because it has a pH of 4.5 which is the exact same pH as your scalp so it will do what it will restore the pH balance of your scalp so most shampoos tend to so apple cider vinegar is great to use even just once a month to restore your pH balance it also adds shine and it makes your curls pop it's a great thing to use I'm going to have a video on a, a ACV rinse that's apple cider vinegar 
and yes that's one way to clarify your scalp the second way is using baking soda now I have never used baking soda but I know it is used to cleanse your scalp so that one I won't get into details much because I'll also have to do my research come up with a tutorial and you know recipe for you guys then three we have bentonite clay but not only is it great for your scalp especially if you have natural hair uh, when you add it to your strands it gives your curls some definition that's bomb so this is something great because it uh, detoxifies and it also makes your curls pop and also you can use bentonite clay for your skin yes so I recently not so recently but about two weeks ago I attended the natural beauty bar event here in Nairobi and I got myself some bentonite clay from Shea Biosol I leave her Instagram handle down below you can just contact her and she'll organize delivery and such likes so I got some bentonite clay my hair was in this so I could only use it on my skin it y'all it's the bomb.com so if you're not getting it for your hair get it for your skin if you're not getting it for your skin get it for your hair or get it for both of them so I've talked about apple cider vinegar bentonite clay baking soda and shampoo so that's really it for this first part of cleansing so when you're cleansing just remember to focus on your scalp it's your scalp that has the buildup and then when you rinse out the residue on or the dirt on your strands will also be washed away so and then the way shampoos are tailored is in such a way that you don't have to wash your hair three times and by this I mean like when you go to the salon and they're trying to clean your hair they use shampoo rinse Use shampoo again, rinse, use shampoo again and rinse. The way especially sulfate shampoos are made, they should just be used once, give it a good scrub, you know, and rinse it out. You don't have to shampoo your hair thrice to make a point. You feel me? So uh, thank you guys for watching this video Always remember your hair is your crown embrace it love it and take care of it. God bless you all. Goodbye